Day one of preseason testing, shakedown, not officially a test, but it's kind of a test. Anyways, that's way too complicated. Um, day one of cars on track in Formula One, it's complete. Day one of three, they will be at Barcelona in Spain, the track, the circuit day, what is it, Catalonia, Barcelona. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but... Uh, they've done testing there in the past. They're doing testing once again here. They'll do a more official test at Bahrain uh, before the Bahrain Grand Prix, which opens up the season. But day one of three is complete. They've got time charts. We've got how many laps each driver completed, how many dri or, uh, laps each team completed, some other stuff we're going to look at. So uh, yeah, just going to give you as much data as possible, talk about who ran, all that stuff. So let's first look at the tires. The tires, such a fun thing. So obviously, this year is a new car for Formula One, completely different than the car that they used to use. Um, you know, it's very different, except for I think I think the engine's the same, I want to say. But uh, the other different thing is the tires. It is a much bigger tire it's a wider tire i believe it's an 18 inch tire and here are the compounds that were used today obviously the intermediate and wets were not used because simply it did not rain but here were the tires that were not rain tires that were used the c1 the c2 the c3 the c4 the c5 c4 and c5 are the soft tires the medium tires is the c3 and then the hard tires are the c1 and c2 uh, so yeah, obviously the C1 I'm, is probably the hardest tires, C5 is the softest tires, so yeah, uh, those are the tires for those of you who are curious about that. Here's a couple pictures of the cars, the new cars with their unique designs. Um, if you didn't know, I'm going to be doing a livery ranking once Alfa Romeo releases their livery, livery, livery later this week, that means next week that that video will be up, but very different designs of the cars with the side pods, the front wings, all that stuff. There's a lot of differences for sure. But uh, here's a picture of a few of them. Uh, you got Mercedes, the Red Bull, Ferrari. I mean, some really good looking cars this year. So yeah, I, I mean, I love the look of the Ferrari. The black and red just looks amazing. Reminds me of the 90s, uh, the year that Prost was there. I think that was 90. Yeah, that's the year 90. Um, but great looking car. Anyways, here are some, uh, here's the chart of the fastest. Now, this is obviously based off of a single lap, so people are going to over-exaggerate. They're going to, you know, be like, oh, this is, this is who's going to win the championship. But no, you know, they ran a lot of laps today. Don't let one lap determine, you know, who's going to win the championship from a preseason test. Anyways, Lando Norris was the fastest of the session for McLaren with a 119.568. Then it was the two Ferraris of Leclerc and Sainz. Then the two Mercedes of Russell and Hamilton. Then Sebastian Vettel for Aston Martin. Then Yuki Tsunoda for Alfa Tari. Fernando Alonso for Alpine, who they got some pink in the car now, uh, thanks to BWT. Ninth, defending world champion Max Verstappen. Tenth, Valtteri Bottas, his first uh, test for Alfa Romeo. Eleventh, Alex Albon. Twelfth, Mick Schumacher. 13th, Lance Stroll. 14th, Nicholas Latifi. 15th, Nikita Mazepin. 16th, Robert Kubica. So, uh, yeah, obviously, you know, it's not a single lap that they ran today. They ran a lot of laps today, and it's technically not the first time these cars have been on track. They do their own kind of shakedown at their home base or whatever, a track that's close to their home base, whether it be just to get the car out for a bit or, you know, for a promotional video, a, a commercial advertisement, but... Obviously, these times, I don't think they're like, I don't think anyone was pushing qualifying pace because if you look at, I don't know how different this car is in terms of speeds to last year's car, but if you look at that top speed from today from Lando Norris, a 119.568, compared to last year, the pole at uh, Spain, at Barcelona, was a 116.741, so uh, a little bit almost three full seconds slower than the pole lap from last year. So obviously, you know, it's only one test. You don't want to overthink, overanalyze. But uh, those are some of the times. Just wanted to give you some information on that. And there were a lot of laps completed today. According to motorsport.com, uh, 1,104 laps were completed total by all the drivers and teams combined, which is a total of 5,161.2 kilometers, 
or 3,207.12 miles. So that is driving more than the full width of the United States of America. Thought that was very interesting. Um, amazingly, they also said that there were no stoppages or red flags today. The only incident there was, Max Verstappen went off track for a bit, but no, as I said, no real red flags, no crashes. So that I thought that was interesting to see. You know, new cars, testing, you know, drivers might push to the limit uh, and, you know, overstep with the new car. But uh, it seems like everyone kept it under control, kept it straight. Uh, as for the most laps that were completed, uh, Max Verstappen completed the most laps with 147 laps. Uh, Ferrari combined had 153 laps. That might have been the most today uh, by a single team. Uh, but there were some teams that only ran one driver today. Red Bull only had Verstappen. Alpine only had Alonso. AlphaTauri had only Tsunoda. Um, Lando was the only one to run for McLaren. And uh, I think, unless I missed someone, I think that's it in terms of who was running. But um, yes, as I said, only day one of three, we will see those other drivers. So Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, uh, Pierre Gasly. We will see all those drivers tomorrow or on day three. Uh, but yes, very interesting. Also, Lewis Hamilton was looking in the Red Bull garage. I'll get your speculation, people. Uh, now nah, he was just walking down the pit lane. I don't think it was anything suspicious. As long as he doesn't touch the car, it's fine. Uh, but yes, obviously, as I said earlier, fastest time was by Lando Norris. Verstappen had the most laps by a single driver. Ferrari had the most laps by a single team. Uh, the least amount of laps by a driver was Kubica. He only ran nine laps. The least amount of laps by a team was Alfa Romeo with 32. I think they had some sort of issue. I can't remember exactly what it was. But yeah, um, I can't remember what the issue is. But I guess, yeah, also when I was mentioning drivers who didn't run, Alfa Romeo's second driver, Guan Yu Zhou, had not run at all yet, so he will probably run tomorrow if I had to guess. Rookie, you want to get him in the car as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how they do tomorrow, see how those tests go tomorrow. But obviously, lots of learning for these teams. They had all their devices attached to the car. I don't couldn't tell you exactly what they do, but I know it gives them some type of data uh, into what the car actually does, into you know, how it works aerodynamically. Um, especially with the new car, you want to know all that stuff. Try to get the car as best as possible before the season. Uh, that's why they have all these preseason tests. But especially with a new car, you want to try to figure this stuff out. So it'll be interesting to see how the season goes. The new cars look really nice. I personally love the look of them, um, especially with some of the liveries as well. But even just like the blank car, I really like how the rear wing looks. I don't know why. It just looks cool, you know? It's like the way it kind of... It is. I just really like it. But lots of new cars, lots of new liveries. Um, a full day of testing, lots of laps completed today. Uh, let's see here. Uh, at least three or four, four guys. Verstappen, Alonso, Tsunoda, and Lando all completed over 100 laps today. I think the Spanish Grand Prix is only 56 laps, so almost doubling, or for some drivers, more than doubling uh, the amount of laps they would run in just the race alone. Obviously, you got a lot more laps in race week and with practice qualifying, but still very interesting to see all these numbers. Very cool to see cars back on track for Formula One for the 2022 season. Looking forward to it. We'll see how days two and three of testing go. But uh, yeah, uh, as I said, you know, there was a lot that happened today in the testing in terms of, you know, new cars, uh, fastest laps. But uh, we'll see how the cars develop. We'll see if anyone goes faster tomorrow. Uh, how many laps are completed, all that stuff, but don't look too much into it or over, overthink it. Do what you want. I don't care, but uh, have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe for more racing content. We talk about NASCAR and F1 on here basically all the time. So you want more racing stuff? Uh, that's what I'm here for, but other than that, have a great rest of your day.